guys and welcome back to another video and i hope you are okay on that side of the screen having a great day now the topic of today is geforce now on android tv boxes and geforce now is a service that it's available for more devices but we are going to focus on the android experience and for those of you that follow the channel know that this service was until a few a couple of months ago exclusive to nvidia devices such as the nvidia shield tv which is one of the devices that i love it's one of, well the best android tv box that we can get for the price and for everything that it has and if you want to know more about android tv boxes including the nvidia shield just search the channel and we have a lot of reviews and a lot of tricks and tips to take advantage of our devices now what i'm going to cover right now is what is geforce now compared GeForce Now to GameStream, which I love, and spoiler alert, I still prefer than any other cloud gaming, although I can see the difference, but comparing that, and then comparing GeForce Now with the NVIDIA games, which is more or less the same, but on the NVIDIA Shield TV and GeForce Now on the other Android TV boxes. And then we are going to talk about what I do believe that it's the best in this particular app, what I did find not as good at this moment, but I do have hopes that will improve. Finally, we will talk about uh, also the two types of accounts that we have, free and paid, the differences. And in between, we will, find, we will talk about the Android TV boxes that I already tested that can uh, use this service and probably can talk about that right now. Now, I've tested on three boxes with success and one without success. Besides the NVIDIA Shield TV, which we already know, I did try a new one that was released here, exclusive on my country, which is box from Mail and it works great, which is really nice. It's a box from one of our TV operators. Not gonna waste time here because it doesn't matter much to you. I also tried on the Mi Nix T5, worked really, really nice. On the Mi Cool KM1, and the disappointment was on the Mi Box 3 and on the Mi Box S, I was not able to install the app from the official Play Store. Now, probably if I grab the AP key, it will work, but I haven't tested out. So if any of you guys test it out, just please leave a comment down below so that we are aware if it does or not. But that being said, for those of you that don't know, GeForce Now, basically, I can compare it with Netflix or HBO, where we can watch movies or series. But on the GeForce Now, we will be able to play games that are not actually physically here with me or physically or digitally on any computer that I own. So I don't need a computer to play top AAA games on a small Android device that costs 60, 70 euros more or less. If you go with the NVIDIA Shield, then it's a bit more expensive. But the idea is this one, with a small and cheap device to be able to play games that otherwise I would need a power computer that would cost me 1,500, 2,000 euros to be really beefy. So this idea is just great use NVIDIA servers to play games here in my house with a small device and probably I will need to pay five or six euros to do that or use the free account that will see the differences. Now, GeForce Now compared to GameStream. While on GeForce Now I don't need any computer here at home, GameStream I do need. So GameStream basically is the same principle, but instead of being using the servers of NVIDIA or any other provider that has a similar service, because there are a few other services and I will bring them here on the channel because you guys are challenging me for this and for that. But instead of using those outside servers, cloud servers, I will use my own computer. So I just need to have installed uh, games on my computer and then through Steam, which is the platform that I prefer for this kind of usage, I just need to link the game right over there. And after that, on any Android device, I just need to install the Steam Link app and I will be able to play the game on my Android TV box without any issues at all, like I was in front of my computer, but I can be on a living room, on, on my projector room or whatnot. And this is still my favorite method because I have a lot of freedom. I can play any game that I have on my computer, regardless if it's from Steam or any other provider. And this is just awesome. Now, there is another part of this, which is NVIDIA Games. And this is the equivalent to GeForce Now, but the app that we get on the NVIDIA Shield TV, which is different from the one that we get on any other Android TV box. Now, on the NVIDIA Shield TV, it's more complete and it has a lot more free games. Actually, 
the GeForce Now doesn't have free games unless they are free on Steam or Epic or whatnot. But on the NVIDIA TV, we will have some a section with free games which are free for members that purchase the NVIDIA Shield TV hardware. And I do believe that this is fair to differentiate because I did purchase an NVIDIA Shield TV, actually two. And I do have this bonus of having a few free games that I can actually use in difference to someone else that just purchased a cheaper Android TV box and will have a GeForce Now service without these bonus. So just to have in mind that there is a difference here and in my opinion is totally fair. Now things that work really awesome in my opinion. The principle of being able to with a cheap device play games without having a computer is just awesome and in terms of the service itself for what I've tested so far it works just great. I just need to have a great internet connection either Wi-Fi or uh, through cable and the experience is just awesome. I don't have any other words. I can't complain at all on anything. No lags, no whatnot. Graphics really good. And of course, we are depending on our network connection, but the experience is really, really nice. And you find them that they are interesting, then this is great. You just need to purchase any game that you like. Once you purchase and it's on your Steam account or Epic Games account, you can just log in on the GeForce Now for once and then you can just play that game without any issues at all and this is just awesome. Now things that I did like a little bit less is that when we talk about games Nvidia GeForce Now service has a list of games that we can check and if we buy that game we'll go to our library and it will work great but there are a lot more games than the Nvidia GeForce Now service shows and that is my case. For example in my library which is not big, yours I believe that it's a lot bigger Mine has 30 games and I did synchronize with GeForce Now, but only nine of those games were able to synchronize to my GeForce Now service. So there are about 20 games that are left. And this is the only thing that is preventing me to become a customer or a paying member of GeForce Now. The other thing that I did find a bit awkward is that the principle is that I don't need a computer and the only way that I had to synchronize my games was to open up my computer, boot up with Windows 10, open GeForce Now app on the PC and then synchronize games with my Steam Link account and after that they did appear on my Android devices but uh, honestly i do believe that there should be a way not opening the computer just do that on our android device and that it could connect to the steam link account and bam that was it so these are things that i do believe that need to improve now types of accounts we can use this service for free and the only limitation that i found is that you will have a session of one hour maximum so you can play any game that you own but you will need to play for one session, then you will be kick banned <laughs> and you will, uh, well, just kick, not banned. And then you can start another session for another hour and then you will stop again. It will, so you have, you can have a lot of sessions, doesn't matter. And on the NVIDIA rules in terms of agreement, it states that there are no limits in terms of sessions, but you will need to stop one hour each time. So this is the limitation. If you want to use it without limitations at this moment, it's five, 90 euros I believe so it's not expensive in my opinion I do believe that this is the launch price so probably it will increase over time so in conclusion guys I do believe that this service is just awesome and the only thing that it's limiting this is that I'm not free to have at least in this moment I do believe that in the future this will improve 30 or 300 games on my Steam library I should be able to sync them with GeForce Now and without using any computer be able to play all those games regardless if they are on the NVIDIA's list or not because any kind of list will limit me as a consumer and I do believe that this needs to lift so that I have the freedom to choose the game that I want. Hopefully this video was useful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated right over here. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.